Hello everyone! Today I am at Cathedral and the reason I'm here is because early on this morning we had the first ever tram train service in the UK. So I'm here in Sheffield at the Cathedral and soon we're hoping to get on at one of the tram trains to go to Rotherham Park Gate and there's actually one coming up here. So let's see what happens. Here we have the new tram map up here with the black route, so it looks like it's going to be going to Rotherham Central and Rotherham Park Gate, as well as this new piece of information about the new services. So this is quite a big day for the UK as well as just Sheffield. And there's a purple one coming up the road actually now. Right, so we had a plan to take a tram train on the first day to Rotherham Park Gate. But it turns out that quite literally that plan has been derailed. There's been a tram that's derailed somewhere on the yellow route between here and the city centre and No, that, 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 that is helpful enough to be fair. And, and because that, of that, uh, I will try and give it a we're now going to have to find another way to hopefully get to Park Gate. No, that's, that's but completely fine. At the moment right, we have no you. idea if it's actually going to be possible. Right, so because we can't get all the way to, towards Meadow Hall on a tram, we're now going to have to take a bus towards oh, Meadow Hall. So and then, apparently because the tram trains are there, still yeah. running to Parkgate, right. but not directly well, from so here, we're going to have to go a on a tram train yeah, yeah. So, from somewhere near Meadow Hall, probably, to Parkgate. And hopefully, uh, Crichton Road. hopefully, we're going to manage to get on one and get to Parkgate at some point today. Okay, so we have now had yet another change of plan. The plan was to take the bus instead of the tram train to Meadow Hall. But we've just discovered that there's another way to get to Meadow Hall. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try and take the train from Sheffield Station to Meadow Hall. And then we're going to try and get from Meadow Hall to Otherham Park Gate on a tram train. There's one, two, three passes. Right, Harry. So we're now on our way to the station and hopefully we're going to be able to get on a train. We've now booked a train, we've just got off tram 123, we're at the station and we're hoping to get on the 1615 over to, yeah probably delayed, it's Northern, <laughs> to Meadowhall and then we're going to get from Meadowhall to Rotherham hopefully. If this goes well, it's going to be a miracle. <laughs> so at the moment, we're in the station and we're going to try and find what's probably going to be a pace. Everything at the moment that could have gone wrong is going wrong. We got on the train, which is actually, I don't know if you can see, the one over there. And that's been blocked. So now we're going on this other pace, so instead, and we're going to try and get to Meadow Hall. So the plan is to get to Meadow Hall at some point today and hopefully get to Rotherham also at some point today. But with the way things are going at the moment, I don't even know if we're going to leave Sheffield. We're waiting to get on either this train or this train, one of the two. There's lots of other people who are also waiting and no one really has any idea what's going on. So, we'll just see what happens, I guess. Well, this was supposed to leave two minutes ago and they're not letting anyone on for some strange reason. I have no idea why. But yeah, at the moment we're just stuck in Sheffield. And it doesn't look like there's going to be any way for us to get out. So we're finally moving towards Meadow Hall. We're travelling one stop and then we're going to work our way to Meadow Hall South, Tinsley. And then we're going to get on a tram train to Rotherham, assuming that they are still running on that bit. Right, so we're now on a tram, we've managed to get to Meadow Hall, and there's a tram train next to us. But we've just found out that the tram trains aren't actually running to Park Gate. Um, so we're going to go and try and get some food first. And to be honest, I have no idea what we're going to do now. We're waiting to depart Meadow Hall on this, 
which is one two five. If you're interested. And then we're going to go to Valley Entertainment for food, and I've no idea what we're going to do after that. But at the moment, it looks like we're not going to get on a tram train to park yet, unfortunately. Waiting to depart, and there's not many people on board, and we should be leaving in about a minute. And that tram train doesn't seem to be doing much. Not that it affects us, but the M1 motorway is also closed. So it seems like everything today that could go wrong is going wrong in every single way. But at least we're moving now and we're going... This one terminates at the arena, but we're only going to go to Valley Entertainment because we need some food. It's actually a really nice view. So I doubt we're going to get to go to Parkgate now. No, it's not likely. So. Okay, so we've had some food now, and while we're having food, it turns out that Super Tram have stopped running any trams from Cricketing Road to Meadow Hall at all. So the only way we can get back to the city centre, where we need to go, is on a bus. However, the problem with the bus, which is actually the reason we end up getting on the pacer earlier on, is that there's a lot of traffic everywhere because it's rush hour and also the M1 the M is closed yeah so at the moment we're actually walking because at the current rate the current rate the traffic's going it's faster to walk than take the bus and walking is going to take more than an hour as well so that's saying a lot about how bad this traffic is so yeah, we're on our way to the X1 bus to get back to the city centre. Right, so this is what's caused all our problems today. Looks like we've got another one to tow it. Lots of police everywhere. So now we just need to get back into town. So I've just realised I've not recorded in ages, but basically what happened was we finally ended up getting on a tram at Nunnery Square, but not actually at the stop, and now we're in town, and we've just been taking some photos of the trams at night. So yeah, it's been a bit of an adventure today, we didn't actually get to Rotherham in the end, but we've seen some pretty interesting things I guess. So I guess thanks for watching.